Uh, by the way, uh, Jack T, thanks for the follow, if I didn't say that. We are literally blind walking. Although we are kind of getting there in terms of the numbers, I think. I think we are. Oh, is that right, Alex? That's awesome. Oh, wait, here we are. We found it. We actually found it. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I may go back down there. If this ends up being stinky, I might go back down there and fish that spot for a few minutes while we're here. But that is awesome. What's up, Shoot Cute? I think we can go ahead and do full cast on this. Maybe. We'll see. So we should finally be catching some grayling. Never saw a grayling down at that other spot. But they are here. Sopo, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm actually off. I'm off some uh, this week and not next week, but the week after that. So a little bit more time. Yeah, this is definitely an unusual hour for me, that's for sure. Still top USA weekly. That's awesome. All right, overcast and rainy. What does that do to our lure thoughts here? What does that do to our lure thoughts? On a rainy day. Former on Hunters and you got it on a five grand popper. Wow. That's crazy. Big fish, choose your weakest fish. So you were on a, um, when you say light setup, how light was it? It's probably a fun little fight, huh? That was pretty cool. That little fish was like chasing it right up till the end. Let's try Let's try some different things. All right.
That's a fish. I mean, it's a chum, right? If that were a grayling, we'd be in business. It was probably 10 minutes fight. 5.5 low profile. So that's ultralight. Not just light, ultralight, right? And and not even like expensive ultralight. Like medium ultralight. I mean, middle of the line, middle of the road ultralight. Yeah, I bet that was fun. Oh, that's a pretty fish. That's a pretty fish. All right. Quick bites on this uh, 18. That was a weekly US sockeye. That's another sockeye. Okay, sockeye have been jumping onto this spiker all of a sudden. We went from hornets to spiker, and now we've hit sockeye. Is that right, shoot? I mean, I I will say at that other spot, I had a lot of fun yesterday on the hypnotics. Ooh, white spotted char. Uh, at the spot that's like down here at I-4, actually did pretty well. We had that trophy chum and then just like random stuff. But um, a lot of times I do have more fun on ultralight stuff. But I will say that spot was pretty cool. I felt like we were doing, making some good, good headway on cohos and stuff. Oh, there's a little grayling. A little grayling. All right. Um, what did we start on? The two, right? Let's just try this Hornet two again. It's only half cloudy now. That is another sockeye, I believe. I don't know if it'll quite be a marker. Yeah, I think it is. Nope, it's not. like every other cast that is also a sockeye huh Yeah, I wouldn't normally necessarily start streaming this early, except we're going to the Braves game. I mean, I wanted to get a couple streams in this week a little earlier than normal, but this is earlier than I... I like the variety down here, by the way. This is earlier than I would have done, except we got to leave like early afternoon to go to a Braves game this, uh, for this for tonight. Tunguska wasn't that great. Oh, that's too bad. The like little uh, little ultralight stream. Mm. 
JKA07, thanks for the follow. Well, we'll see how sustainable this is, shoot cute, because we just happened to start fishing at like what, 6.30, 7 a.m. I know the bite rate will drop off during the day. Not much, not many fish. Well, that stinks because that sometimes that that area is really good. What is that? Oh, it's another white spotted, isn't it? Could be fish changed on Tunguska. Yeah, maybe. Really interesting. All right, we've had a couple of casts in a row of catching really small stuff. So let's mix it up. Um, let's try the let's try the green one again. Not much, although it's getting a little later in the morning. Isn't there a, I guess not. I was thinking there was a spiker that was a little bit brighter. Um, brighter green, kind of like what the Hornet looks like, but maybe I'm just straight up thinking of the Hornet. There is one? Do I really not have it? What number is it? Are you talking about these down here? Like these are almost yellow to me. I know there's this green. Let's see, I don't have the one for some reason. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I've got them all. The yellow ones, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and these are really good, but I, I just, for some reason, I, I like, I was picturing the hunter, uh, not the hunter, I was picturing the hornet and uh, being like, oh yeah, I really like this lure, but in my mind, it was a spiker. So, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was thinking there was, but I guess there's not. What's the Spiker 1? Does anybody have theirs? Or some, is anybody in game that can look and see what color Spiker 1 is? I assume usually 1s are like silver, bronze, that kind of stuff, right? Wait. Yo, Blunty. 
That's a fancy sounding color. Chartreuse. Uh, I'm running out of ideas here. We're just, it's like during the day, we're not catching. We're not catching right now. Silver? Okay. I thought usually like ones, twos, and threes were some of those pretty common standard spoon colors, typically. Uh, all right, we got to get we got to get crazy here. It could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I just don't have it. Oh, there we go. All right, we're back on the fish. Back on the fish. Back on the sockeye, actually. All right. So we know there's some sockeye here, just out of curiosity. What are people slaying the sockeye on this week? Not ultralight stuff? Original Walker 003. Do I even have that? Probably not. I, I have not done a good job keeping up with lures, to be honest. Um, now, I think, I think that this guy might work. Um, let's go 35 speed. Let's cast it pretty far out there. And let's just see what happens. The Vibra Spinner. Oh, it's like the two without dots. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, we did not slay a sockeye on that one. We uh, ninja sneak sneakily switched to a big setup real quick here, folks. Just uh, ooh, just wanted to see if we could hook into some sockeye on on larger stuff. So like, there's one. All right, let me look at the list again because I think there were some spoons on the sockeyes as well, right? Oh, just one. Oh wait, what's this? Hopper 9F002. Again, I don't know that. Let's look at the Xander. What size, um, what size hook do I have on my Xander? I mean, it's not that big, but that's okay. We'll try it. All right, so what speed, how do we want to do this? Do we want to try to jig step it? We just threw that to, to, to Octuba. I forgot how, <laughs> that's right, that's the, <laughs> that's the one thing I remember about these Xander spoons. They will cast for days and days. Well, we actually got a bite way over there, like pretty much at the other shore. Let's see what kind of fish it is. Ooh, is that a white spotted? That's actually going to be a marker if it's a white spotted. Am I seeing that right? Nice. All right, we're not going to cast it as far this time. 
We could also do straight retrieval on this, but let's do a little jig step. Ooh, quick bite. All right. Something small. I can't tell what it is. It's just riding down the current, whatever it is. Is that a chum? I'd say that's a chum. Even like just under 50%, it still goes way over there. This isn't the only fish that I've noticed the um, Xander Spoon doing work on the weekly list recently. Uh, Grizzly, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Whoa! Last minute chum? It's a last minute chum. All right, let's treat this like it's a spinner bait, basically. Let's just do straight retrieval here. See if anybody likes it. We will try to get some speed up if we can. There we go. I'll let it drop. I don't know how well the Xander spoon like moves through the water on straight retrieval. It's so like smooth, long and skinny. I don't know. It might just do better with the with a little jig. What's up, Kyle Kid? Welcome back. Coming to you three days in a row at all different hours. Ooh, there's a little hit. Hey, it's another white spotted, I think. We're, we're landing the char with this little thing. Oh, look at the color and coloration on that one. It's very cool. Uh, yeah. We've hit some white spotted all of a sudden. What is a Vibra spinner? Oh, we could try a Pomer actually. What was the color that was working? It's kind of like a, kind of like the O3. Yeah, 
Yeah. Let me know what you see, Alex. I um I might be interested in that. I remember yesterday hearing that too. It's funny because I just saw someone in my in-game chat saying how dead Bear was, but they may not be checking the right spots or with the right baits. All right, so we were using the Hornet 2. We'll see in the afternoon what this is looking like now. Oh, is that right, Shoot Cute? Exact same weight? That's crazy. That's crazy. Vibra are the newish ones. Man, you're making me want to run back to camp. How far is it? I mean, it's early enough. I can probably make it there and back. How did I, uh, how did I not purchase the new lures? <laughs> it's farther than I realized. telling you we need something on this map just because we've been going to like the side to side spots it feels pretty far like a kayak four-wheeler a helicopter something yeah we are getting our cardio Where's the cafe? Oh yeah. All right, so there's no way we're getting two Siberian Graylings that big, I don't think, but we'll see. Oh, I forgot these char were even here. That would be a hard order though. Are we making any silver down there? Ah, eh, we're doing okay. 126. Uh, where's the tackle stop store? Oh my goodness. All right, I assume we want these for, um, oh, I kind of like these. And then this, these would be great on like light medium light setups or medium and we also have new spoons say it ain't so ultra light spoons what oh wait i was also going to see if i have because what was it i don't have the spiker one or something okay uh, run, run back to your rods, young man. What's up, Twizza? E L E W. I have those in real life. Is that right? Those are the ones that you were talking about. Yeah. Four carp in two minutes under three kilo at bear. Hmm. Ooh, Valentine, 213 silver for a trophy Xander. Are you at um, Arch or where are you? Blue Fox Vibrax. Is that what it's called in real life? What was it? The Hornet one? Uh, wait. Oh. Uh. Did I just overpurchase a lure? You were at Archie. 
Nice one, Valentine. What's up, Faulkner? Welcome back. Whoop, whoop. Alright. Actually, that's not the one we want. That's not the droid we want. So it only took us about an in-game hour and 15 minutes to get down there and back. That's actually not too bad. Hey, it's another grayling. We just need a couple of massive graylings for that order. So still partly overcast. I mean, we're hitting them, right? We just gotta get a big one. All right, so if this is working uh, which one of these do we think has the best chance? They're all kind of weird because some of the ones were out of stock. But let's try this one. This is probably the most <clears throat> like standard looking one out of the three. Although it's kind of um, muted. It's like a muted color, I would say. It casts farther. It must be a little heavier. They must be a little heavier. Yeah, they're four grams. It's not sunny. I, I don't. I just don't know about that real bright one. I mean, it's a little sunny, but not crazy sunny. Megmer, greetings. What are we targeting? We're just having a little more fun at Yama uh, before we do something else. So came down to try out the ultralight and then we started hitting these sock eyes. So then I switched to uh, regular, which I may do, I may switch back in a second because if there's a chance we catch a really nice sock eye, it'd be totally worth it. We'll try on that Xander spoon some more. Is that another sockeye? All right. Okay. What's going on here? We kept this thing jig stepping forever. We did it. Welcome to M Dog's Internet. Uh, there we go. 
No, it is still not sorted, Twizza. 100% still not sorted. All right. So what was the um, spoon situation here? How far are these going to throw? Pretty good. Ultralight spoons, huh? That's awesome, Blunty. That's fun. I wonder how these spoons do trolling at like quarry or something. Has anybody tried that? Ultralight spoons. All right, let's go back to this. There's just sockeye here right now. There's there's no way around it. <laughs> that's that's what we're catching. Occasional small east grayling, but reliable sockeye. I didn't mean to cast that short. I just sort of realized like, I haven't been casting straight out towards the other side because of the current, I always think like, oh, I'm going to cast off to an angle. Maybe we'd have been better off casting straight across. There's another char. I mean, the end of the... Ooh! At the end, it's not going to be as good because it'll drift over to the shore, but... Maybe this in the beginning is where the fish are at. This is probably just a time of day thing though. We're now in that time where it's like better fishing. I'm really curious what this is gonna be though. This feels like a mid-sized chum, but oh, I think it's a Linux. That is great news. All right, let's just chase him downstream here. But we don't wanna fight the current. Yes, sharp snouted. Sharp snouted. It's a Lincoln. Oh, you got a barbel. Yeah, barbel love that muscle stuff, don't they? They will muscle all day. That was a water body record UL sharp snouted Linux. I'm sure US, US server, right? But still though, pretty cool. Yeah, sometimes I get too dialed in to like casting the same spot over and over again. Just because one spot's working a little bit doesn't mean another spot's not going to be even better. It's a round white fish. I forgot those things are even here. Now 
Now, if we could teleport down to the King Salmon area, it would be a good time to throw a couple casts just to test it. Alright, is there something we should be casting here at night? Yeah, probably this. Probably one of these, huh? Or the handmaid. Yeah, Linux is good XP. Decent silver too, I think. <laughs> yeah, I run Windows too. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool having a sharp snouted operating system though. Yeah, we're not catching anything at night here on ultralight. I and mean, we might not catch anything on anything here at night, but ultralight is brutal. Um, what were we using last night? The, um, the hypnotics. And this one was like decent in the evening, right? I don't know how it'll do here, but... Let's see, Canalas Janica, Jan Janica, sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing your name. Hey, MDoll Gaming, you're the favorite streamer of my son. Oh, thank you. Say hello to your son for me then. But greetings. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate your kind words. All right, so let's take this moment of complete lack of fish catching and just look around to get a plan for where we're going to go next. I still may do a little bit more Yama fishing in the morning. I don't know. Let's see where, what, what our plan is going to be, though. Wait, what? I know your son from YouTube and in-game. Oh, nice. Did you want to say your son's in-game name or no? Whoa. Are you the son? Laka Paka. Wait, am I getting trolled here? Y'all have got some incredible names. 
Oh yeah, Norbert. Norbert. All right, let's see where we're heading next. Oh, I know Norbert. All right, let's think about this. Feels like 83145 is still one of the better options of Amber, but we did that yesterday. Big heads have been going off a little bit at um, Sura and Tuba. I have no desire to fish for sturgeon right now, to be honest. All right, trophy grass at bear on looks like muscle stuff is that are you at 5531 right now alex One hundred one one sixty three. wait what what are you catching there razor he's fishing down in the river that's awesome What are you catching on squirrel? You are, that is the spot you're at? Okay, well if I go to bear, I'll try that spot with you. Um, Linux and the dolly, and it's working good, really? All right, so what, uh, I need to put a heavier setup on or no? I mean, what's the test here? I guess I'm fine, right? We can just go for it. All right, I have to go purchase a squirrel though, to be fair. Um, all right. Do they sell those here? Hold on. Are squirrels sold at Yama? What's up, Jake? <coughs> Yo, Jake, I forgot that I actually have a trophy bream at, at Amber. But I don't know where I caught it at. It was on pea porridge, if that helps. This was like a long time ago, though. It's only at Tunguska. All right, so I have to travel to Tunguska and then travel back. Which squirrel did you say? Let's see. The 45? Okay. Are there other color options? All right, where do y'all keep your squirrels at? It's not in the normal store, right? It's in that one that's tucked around the corner. Remember, I have no idea. I probably did it on stream sometime, but I don't know. Back then, I wasn't uploading my streams to YouTube very often, so uh, it's probably not even documented at this point, to be honest. This isn't the right store. Oh, my goodness. Where am I and where am I supposed to be? Oh, let me think about this. Is it quit? No, stop, stop, stop. Wait, what just happened? All 
All right, Twizza. I mean, a little more information might be helpful, but you do you. You do you. Um, <sighs> squirrel, huh? 45 squirrel. Well, Jake just hooked me up, apparently. Man, these are not cheap. Jake, what are you doing? What are you doing, Jake? Oh, nice. Rare Chum, Salmon Trophy, Coho, and Dolly. Nice. Oh, it's weird. They're different sizes, huh? Mouse, mouse. But the chipmunk does come in. All right, we'll try one of those as well. All right, let's get back. Let's get back. Chump change. You're looking for the sockeye? Well, we were catching sockeye in that spot. But I couldn't get them. I couldn't. Couldn't get on any bigger than what, like one point something. One point something. All right, let's head back down. Give it a try. Oh, change shooks to 2 0. What comes on there, by the way? Oof. Big fellas. What about fluff? Is fluff okay? Are we going to be okay with some fluff on our squirrel? I hate these tents. I can't even remember which one's what. Hate's a strong word, but you know what I mean. It's confusing. Excuse me? Excuse me? All the, <laughs> all the hooks are out of two O's. Oh, there's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shift. Okay, got gotcha. you. Oh, that's a nice sockeye. That's a nice sockeye. Lots of three kilo commons. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say, Alex, at bear. It's not always the case. So was any, was anybody in the in-game chat? Did something happen in in-game chat? Like, I just... All of a sudden, Twizza just... Not Twizza. Uh, yeah, Twizza. Twizz has been around forever. Like, I feel like that was just out of nowhere. I wish I knew what happened. Although, maybe now is not the time. Nothing you've seen? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It's not like Twizz is just like, you know, some new person. Keeler! How's it going, Keeler? RF4 is going well. I hope you're doing well. Would PVA help get bigger fish? I mean, I guess it could. It's not unheard of, but again, at bear, it's just kind of hard to say. I guess I'll, if I do go there, I can give her a try. 102, 164. There were some talks about that this morning, like today, recently. Oh, good, Keeler. Glad to hear it. Have you been doing anything? Are you going straight across, by the way, Razor? Uh, have you been... Ca I, these probably cast forever, right? Yeah. Have you been catching anything at night? Max throw? I think max throw straight across might be on the shoreline, right? Am I supposed to get any sort of indication? 
about what kind of reeling I'm doing. Yeah, if you're doing um, the Tagara, it probably doesn't cast quite as far as the like casting reel would, I'm guessing. Okay, just making sure I'm not going to get a notification. All right. Don't reel too long. I think I usually do two, two rotations. Holy cow, swarty. Some, whoever Swarty is just got an 8.1 kilo rainbow trout. Yeah, maybe so, Alex. I don't know. Like, I get it. I mean, I think we talked about this a couple days ago, sometime recently. Our in-game chat is, is huge. It's unwieldy. And... Look, it's on the land. I was right. I mean, it's like way on the land. So would you say if I don't get a bite, I mean, is, is there a point in which I should probably just like fast reel it in if we don't get a bite early? No, the only way I can control it, Alex, is if, if I'm on, if I'm logged in and I see something happen, like the other day, there was somebody that had an inappropriate name and I can go and block them and that takes them out of our chat. But I can't, other people can't moderate it. So like, I can't pick several people to be in charge and, you know, moderate or whatever. So it's just like, we do the best we can. Just tap it. What do, long nose suckers bite on like quicker now you said two seconds right all right it's just it's like all the way down the coast at this point i'm going to cast 50 percent Mayfly or Stonefly? What size hooks? I'm happy to throw in some picker rods or something and try to catch them. All right, let's try this. Let's just see if we can get a bite here. I mean, I can set up the Tagara. Hey, 
That is so weird that we're dragging a rodent across the water here. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, uh, let's get our cast, I mean, our spinning Evora out. Where is that? Here it is. Um, is the Tagara free? No. The Tagara is probably down on... Oh, I know where it is. No, I don't know where it is. Where is the Tagara? Oh, I bet it's on a match rod. Yep. All right, there's the Tagara. There's the Tagara. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter what line. I mean, we're going to go pretty small leader, right? So we'll just put 22.8. And we'll do... 12.3 just to make sure that we're not messing up with the leader size Just see if this works 47 oh my gosh it's too heavy all right so we can't use this rod this weighs too much 10-4 good buddy all right so that means we need to use the barracuda Um, all right, Tagara, whatever line, max cast, tap it. More like that. Squirrel does not like me. Is it a terrible idea to try doing it, doing it like old school way? Oh, it doesn't do it that way, does it? You can't right click the rodents? Huh. Oh, okay. I got a bite that way though. Why did I get a bite just reeling it in straight like that? Huh. What am I targeting? Uh, I think like dollies and stuff. Okay. There's a bite. Okay, there's a Linux. Have you tried this down at I four? I want to say people were doing squirrels down there as well. What's up, Godust? Dust? 
this t <laughs> this does reel a lot faster. <laughs> All right, let's get um, Mayfly or Stonefly. Uh, Four, huh? Alright. We are casting into a little bit of a... A little bit of a little uh, two meter area here, I guess. Do this one at twenty. Are they just drifting down the current? Are they not hold? Oh, maybe they're holding. Oof, it popped off, it popped off, that's not fair. Oh, that's a good question. Are there ever dolly orders in the cafe? I have no idea. I am a total Yama noob. This mouse I'm using is so sensitive. I think we have a fish on, but I'm not even sure. We do have a fish on. <clears throat> it's small though. It's a char. I like it. <clears throat> Monkey's Melody, greetings. No dumb questions here. You can ask whatever you want. Might not get the answer you want, but you're welcome to ask the question. <clears throat> welcome to the stream, though. Kaluga? No, 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 no. No Kaluga. No Kaluga, please. All right. Um, Y'all are scaring me. I'm just saying. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
I'm leveling trying to get up in silver, but cafe orders are a little hard for me to get at the moment. And Mosquito, any tips? I mean, I would say this doesn't help you like right at the moment, but in general, I would say you want to get in a community of people who are also fishing different spots so that you can, you know, hear from them what's working. You could always, uh, you could get in an in-game chat like ours or another one, or you could just go to Mosquito and chat with people that you see in the local chat. Look at that, a rainbow trout on the squirrel, by the way. Um, some of the cafe orders I always look for at Mosquito are the rough orders. If you can find a spot that's like reasonably active on rough at night, those cafe orders tend to be very lucrative. And then besides that, just finding those good Crucian Gibble Roach spots to fill in some of the random orders that, that come along. But, I mean, like, our in-game chat is my dogs, M-Y space D-A-W-G-S. The problem is, you know, I mean, there's always a couple people fishing Mosquito, because we usually have a, at least a couple of newer players around, but Mosquito is not a place that, you know, once you get past that, you don't go back to Mosquito that often, typically. So by nature, there's less information on Mosquito. But if you go to some of the online resources like the VK site or other spots, every once in a while Mosquito spots do pop up. Oh man, so yeah, like if you don't have a feeder rod or you're still learning about some of the basics, I would say, um, I mean, I hate to self-promote, but click on that YouTube link and just look up some of the leveling guides there's definitely a lot of general tips that you could get on um... alright that's cool Twizza. Um, you know topwater lure and hit walk the dog with only 50 shift reel I mean Like, what are you trying to get me to do here? A topwater lure. Like any of these, right? I'll try to get top the duck. Try to get walk the dog with uh, shift reeling. All right, is this one too light? Oh, it's only nine grams. Hold on. What's the test on this? It's got to be fifteen to even be able to cast it very far. So maybe you're right. Maybe I can't get Walk the Dog doing it the way I'm doing it. I'm just not used to using spinning rods and spinning setups. I mean, it is harder, I think, on some of this using the big uh, 60 centimeter leader. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't really know. I'll try it like this again, then I'll just do standard reel in. So you're thinking I'm waiting to, I'm, I'm reeling too long and waiting too long between
try 17 kilo mono. Um, you're using the Vinga with this lure. What rod am I using? This is the Barracuda. This is like a catfish rod. It doesn't have... It's like a noodle. That might be an issue. Okay, so y'all are thinking it might be the rod, huh? I mean... This is what I should use. I know it did. I know it's. It looked like it was too slow. Um. But if I was using this, I mean, I know how to get all of that stuff happening with this. So. So are you saying you were not using a leader at all? Or are you saying it was a mono leader? Ah, okay. Gotcha. This is 10 out of 10. I mean, this is the Ultima. Oh, you're using 12.7 Fluoro? Alright, let's try just standard retrieval for a minute. The line makes it so bouncy. Gotcha. so hard to say when you're using lure like this that is already kind of finicky and then there's all the other variables all right 12 or whatever 17 mono huh i mean whatever we want to put on it that's but 12 fluoro and i'm guessing you're not using the the uh 60 centimeter huh I mean, this is definitely going to look a little different. Mono line and a much smaller. Much smaller leader. Oh, that's awesome, Alex. Sounds like bear's working pretty good for you. Oh, and you've only got two rods? Wow. Is 
that a little arctic? No, a little dolly. All right. What are the screenshots of? Yeah, to be fair, guys, it's not that I've not been able to walk the dog. Um, I don't really know how to explain what's been going on the last half hour, but I'm, I'm not having a problem walking the dog on my normal setups. Um, it's just this like, um, these specific setups that I was try trying to use the squirrel on. Sorry, it's kind of hard to explain. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome, Alex. Get that third setup going. And it throws far. No, thanks Thanks for sharing that. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I know it's probably a little confusing what's going on right now, but... Oh, Musu Musuka just got a really nice uh, UL grayling. I wonder if that was here. Musaka. From level 40 to 41, you were only using UL casting from without trolling. That's awesome. At Tungusta. Tunguska. Oh, there you go, Razor. We actually got a decent hit on the... On the... Um, on the pause method there. Over 90 minutes with one rod. Oh, I'll try 20. The only thing is it just, the current takes it so fast. I remember when these first came out trying to troll with these. I don't think that's what they're for. Oh yeah, y'all don't like the rod I'm using. Cause it's got no, um, it's just so, it's got no stiffness, right? I may have another, I mean, the problem is I don't have many spinning rods. I mean, I should just switch back to bait casting, to be honest. 
I don't have many spinning rods that um hold on let's look real quick I don't know if I have another spinning rod that has that test it's got to be up to what 45 or something I mean this only goes up to 42 so it's like just over the mark so we have to go casting and which on straight retrieval should be fine but it's not the same on the 50 paws thing which is fine I mean it's whatever um, Shaku, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good morning to you. Thanks for the raid. Uh, Wesley, appreciate it. 120 kilo of carps and 24. Got a new record. That's awesome. That's awesome, Alex. What's up? Not too much. Just uh, catching the sockeye, I think. Glad to hear it. I'm glad it was helpful. Yeah, so the lure that we're using weighs 45 grams. Or what is it? 47 and 0.6 grams. What's up, Big Draka? Challenge. Challenge accepted. Thank you, Big Draka. Bub Tub gets the gifted gifted sub from Big Draka. Thank you again, Big Draka. Trolling Quarry was awful today. I'm sorry to hear that. So to move servers, you need to uh, you need to email support. Do I ever celebrate my achievements in RF4? I don't guess really. Not really. Model 1 has 6 out of 10 stiffness. What's the test on Model 1? I mean, I... Um, yeah, so like the achievements and stuff aren't super motivating for me. But I guess if there's something that I'm really working on and I happen to hit it, you know, I feel pretty good about that. I'm glad you figured out your Unity error problem, but if you are registered to a Russian, the Russian server and you want to move to US, all, all I can tell you is to send an email to the um, support email. You should be able to find it on the forum. That's something they would have to do on their end. Ooh, nice. Fifteen to fifty. Okay, there you go. So model one's a possibility for this. And at least it has a little more stiffness. Yeah, that barracuda, barracuda we just used for like drifting for catfish and stuff. So it doesn't really matter on that. All right. You want to play on US region, you have to download download US region launcher and have a US region account. That's right. The the Russian server has its own launcher, doesn't it, Alex? I think I remember that from back in the day. You know, before they switched it, um, I used to have an account on the Russian server 
But then they switched it where you couldn't change the language in game option or whatever. So that was, I just, you know, stopped using that account. You like the black edition for Yama? Final Fantasy 14 in Walker. I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I, at this point, I should say, you never know. Because I've surprised myself in the past on when I've gotten back into, like, MMOs that I never thought I'd get back into, but... We shall see. Seven to twenty eight gram test. Fifteen casting, good for Yama. I tell you what, between the white spotted char and the um, sockeye there are some interesting fish biting here right now Sakai. Hard space shipbreaker. Wait, is that the one? I feel like I've played this, Draka. Is that the one where you are um, tearing down all of the spaceships for parts and stuff? Like, I've played that before, if that's that one. Yeah, yeah, no, that was fun. That was an interesting little game. I haven't played it in a long time. I bet they've made changes since I last played it. I feel like I played it soon after it came out, maybe. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to like take those ships apart without blowing something up or whatever. Yeah, I think so, Alex. So what was the problem there? The problem was people were creating ca accounts on the Russian server. They were purchasing things because the currency exchange was cheaper over there. And then eventually they would transfer that account to the whatever server they wanted to be on. Chinese, US, whatever. And... Um, so that kind of ruined it for everybody. Because honestly, I enjoyed having a, a, an account on the Russian server just to like pop over there, um, do some server comparisons. Not sure that it really matters, but 